Beware of these three witnesses, part one. It is ever so difficult to validate any event when a situation is a one-to-one, your word against mine. In our lives here on earth, God has placed witnesses to validate the acceptance or rejection of Christ. The following scriptures will help us understand the humanity and sonship of God. 1 John 5 verse 8 And there are three that bear witness on earth, the Spirit, the water, and the blood, and these three agree as one. If we receive the witness of men, The witness of God is greater, for this is the witness of God which He has testified of His Son. He who believes in the Son of God has the witness in Himself. He who does not believe, God has made him a liar, because he has not believed the testimony that God has given of His Son. And this is the testimony that God has given us eternal life, and this life is in His Son. He who has the Son has life. He who does not have the Son of God does not have life. These things I have written to you, who believe in the Son of God, that you may know that you have eternal life, and that you may continue to believe in the name of the Son of God. The Holy Scriptures precisely mention the three witnesses as the three that bear witness on earth, the Spirit, the water, and the blood. And these three agree as one. Let us look at each individual witness. 1. The Holy Spirit We notice the first witness in action on the baptism of our Lord and Saviour. Matthew 3, verses 13 to 17. Then Jesus came from Galilee to John at the Jordan to be baptised by him. And John tried to prevent him, saying, I need to be baptised by you, and you are coming to me? But Jesus answered and said to him, Permit it to be so now, for thus it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he allowed him. When he had been baptized, Jesus came up immediately from the water, and behold, the heavens were opened to him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting upon him. And suddenly a voice came from heaven, saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. We notice the Holy Spirit comes to witness, hence you and I have to be baptized as the Holy Spirit witnesses. We may be short of an audible voice, but I can assure you that He is always there to witness, even if He is quiet. 1 John 5 verse 6 confirms this for us. Jesus Christ is the one who was revealed as God's Son by His water baptism and by the blood of His cross, not by water only, but by water and blood. And the Spirit, who is truth, confirms this with His testimony. 2. The Water as Second Witness The water witnesses on three different fronts. One, water baptism, symbolizing Jesus' own death, burial, and resurrection. Two, water of the Word, bearing witness to the Incarnation. Isaiah 7 verse 14. Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. Scripture, which is the water which washes the Spirit, 
Acknowledging the Incarnation Isaiah 9, verses 6-7 to For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace there will be no end. Upon the throne of David and over his kingdom, to order it and establish it with judgment and justice from that time forward, even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Scripture, which is water which washes the Spirit, acknowledging the Incarnation. Matthew 1, verse 23. Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which is translated, God with us. Scripture, which is the water which washes the Spirit, acknowledging the Incarnation. Luke 1, verses 34 to 35. Then Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I do not know a man? And the angel answered and said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Highest will overshadow you. Therefore, also, that Holy One who is to be born will be called the Son of God. 3. Water and blood at the crucifixion, testifying of his humanity. John 19, verse 34. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. But one of the soldiers pierced his side with a spear, and immediately blood and water came out. 1 John 5, verse 9. And he who has seen has testified, and his testimony is true, and he knows that he is telling the truth, so that you may believe. Scripture, which is the water which washes the Spirit, acknowledging the Incarnation. 3. The Blood as a Witness The blood was not only testifying of the humanity and sonship of Jesus Christ, but guaranteeing redemption from sin. Matthew 26, verse 28 For this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. Scripture, acknowledging the witness of the blood. Acts 20, verse 28 Therefore, take heed to yourselves and to all the flock among which the Holy Spirit has made you overseers, to shepherd the church of God, which he purchased with his own blood. Scripture, acknowledging the witness of the blood. Ephesians 1, verses 13 to 14. In him you also trusted, after you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also... Having believed, you were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise, who is the guarantee of our inheritance until his redemption of the purchased possession to the praise of his glory. Scripture, acknowledging the witness of the blood. Colossians 1, verses 20 to 22. And by the blood of his cross, everything in heaven and earth is brought back to himself, back to its original intent, restored to innocence again. Even though you were once distant from him, living in the shadows of your evil thoughts and actions, he reconnected you back to himself. He released his supernatural peace to you through the sacrifice of his own body as the sin payment on your behalf so that you would dwell in his presence. And now there is nothing between you and Father God, 
for he sees you as holy, flawless, and restored. Scripture Acknowledging the Witness of the Blood 1 John 1 verse 7 But if we keep living in the pure light that surrounds him, we share unbroken fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus, his Son, continually cleanses us from all sin. Scripture Acknowledging the Witness of the Blood 1 John 5 verse 9 If we accept the testimonies of people, then we must realize the testimony of God is greater than that of any person. God certified the truth about His own Son. Simply said in other versions, it means, if we accept the testimony of men, how much more should we accept the more authoritative testimony of God that He has testified concerning His Son? 1 John 5 verse 8 And there are three that bear witness on earth, the Spirit, the water, and the blood. And these three agree as one. May the fear of the Lord be upon us, lest these witnesses say otherwise. God bless you.